We've been tremendously reckless with the way that we've designed, deployed, regulated, used technology. If at this moment in time we do not start talking about ethical issues, who is going to be excluded? How is it that we want to use this technology? We are simply creating technologies that then guide the development of a future in some direction. Is it going to be a good direction? Who knows? The Australian Human Rights Commission is concerned with that technology may create certain problems in the future. It may impinge on certain people's rights. Artificial intelligence is being deployed across so many different areas and at the moment we are thinking of introducing autonomous vehicles. That is going to have massive implications for us. If you have an accident with an autonomous vehicle, there will be an assumption, a presumption against you of fault. Because these things are super safe, right? I really like riding my motorbike. Should I be allowed to do that given that I am so much less safe than an autonomous vehicle? Now, here's this technology which draws all of our attention just on safety and says this is the overriding concern that should guide how we structure society. Now, maybe that's right, maybe that's wrong. More interestingly, in a future where once we've transitioned to only having autonomous vehicles, would we actually need road rules? Here you've got the law being implicated because technology changes how humans interact. So that's probably one of the most important things that I would hope to gain through my involvement with the Australian Human Rights Commission and with uh, the Centre for Social Justice and Inclusion. To be able to have the conversations that make it possible to ask those questions. Where do we want to get to? Or even more importantly, where do we have reason to want to get to? Because those are moral questions that should shape the development of technologies.